What's up all you rockin' dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Toysha's here bringing you yet another Marvel Legends fresh look. This time it's the Target exclusive Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man in his little yellow jacket. And then Marvel's MJ, or Zendaya, or whatever you want to call her, yada yada yada. This Target 2-pack wasn't really supposed to hit, it's Target Street date, it was going to be May 31st, but good old Target put it out early. Come on, Target, just follow the rules. This Spider-Man, actually pretty interesting. This Mary Jane, wish it was the shocker. Let's go ahead and check out the packaging. You got Zendaya, School of Science, Spider-Man doing his thing, and then... I love DC. Wait a minute. What? Weirdest picture right here. Not, th this is weird. That's a weird, that's a weird photo. On the back of the box, nice artwork, really crisp, clear. Here's the thing. Yeah, where are those in the packaging? Come on, the headphones. Look, the headphones could have gone right there. You, you could have recreated the scene perfectly. Come on, that would have been so cool to give Spider-Man a pair of headphones. There's a lot of room in the box. We're gonna get this thing open. We're gonna check it out. This is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming 2-pack from Target. And while I got a you homecoming peeps here, I just wanna say thanks so much for checking out my fresh look. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and be sure to leave a comment because I wanna talk all things Spider-Man Far From And here's home. the two figures out of their packaging. And I'm... I, I'm a big fan of like weird Spider-Man. Like I like monster Spider-Mans and vampire Spider-Mans. This is a Spider-Man in a yellow coat. It's different, it's unique. Another company did it and I feel like that's why they were like, ah, oh, we gotta do one as well. This one, <sighs> why are we gonna get Ned too and Peter Parker's high school friends? You know what I mean? Like it's it's just a weird thing. Now here's how I think it would have just done it a little bit better. Why not like a big spider web or something like that? Spider-Man webbing effects, something to that degree. That way you could kind of create like a set or a scene. Yeah, it didn't happen in the movie, but she wasn't really in the movie to begin with. See you know what I mean? I mean, she might be more in Far From Home, which I believe she is, but as far as action figures go, the shocker would have been better Something like that. Thanks for giving it to us. We never have this figure. We don't have a Marvel's new MJ figure, so that's cool. But it seems like everyone would have loved the Shocker more than getting Mary Jane. That's it. Let's talk about what we think about these figures. First of all, here is Marvel's MJ, Zendaya. While I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm on the fence. They actually gave us a pretty solid head sculpt right there. That looks like the actress. It came out fantastic. Her hair has this really nice like dry brush of gray in it. Really makes it pop. If they're gonna do it, they might as well make it great. And they did do that. She has a little bit of like a blemish or a mark right there on her cheek. A jacket going on, sculpted shirt, belt, shoes. Like these shoes, they're interesting, very cool. She's got a watch sculpted right there. The zippers, I like the little attention to detail. That's one thing I gotta give them. The figure is sculpted nicely. It's very, very good. I like, I like what I'm seeing. Then you get an alternate head where her hair is put up in a ponytail. That's a great head sculpt as well. And while it is basically like the same type of face sort of going on, I'm glad they give us two different hairstyles. A lot of times you get two different heads. It's like maybe they're smirking a little bit. Maybe the face is down. These are two completely different heads, so that's cool. I appreciate that. As far as the articulation on her, she has it at the shoulders, nothing at the bicep, single jointed elbows, wrist rotation up back left right, little bit of an ab crunch, nothing at the waist, kicks out, double jointed knees, and she has some ankle rocker with a ball jointed head. You also get Two pairs of hands for her, open hand we've seen a million times, and then like a closed hand as well. Thank you for the extra hands. I, I just, I wish they would have more, something in the line of accessories for a Spider-Man figure. That is what I want to see. Spider-Man webs up, he comes with no webbing, that is so wild to me. As far as the Spider-Man figure go, definitely my more favorite of the two. And all the way around, he's got this solid yellow jacket. Very cool logo right there of his science lecture. This is being like the science jacket that he wore in the movie. I like this a lot. Sweatshirt underneath. 
and you get the jacket over it. Articulation on him is in the shoulders, at the bicep, double jointed, and he has wrist rotation. He has a really good ab crunch. He's got a waist swivel, kicks out, double jointed knees, and ankle rock and pivot, and his head moves every which way. And we'll try out that Tom Holland head as well. I'm a sucker for all kinds of weird looking Spider-Man, and I think this is solid. He's painted beautifully. Yellow is solid. There's no marks or anything on it. I really like the sweatshirt underneath. No, you can't really take the jacket off because it'll go right into his spider costume. These are sculpted. Don't take off the jacket. Don't ask. That's weird. Comes with two pairs of hands. Nothing webbing, nothing like that. Just a flipping hand and a punching hand. I definitely like it. I like the set. Is it worth 40? You may want to wait for clearance. I'm just saying because had this been Shocker, that would have flown off the shelves more. But I do really like this yellow Spider-Man. And this one's a great figure. It's just okay. And I pulled out a few other Spider-Mans. This one is from the two-pack with the Iron Man for Homecoming. Came out a year or two ago. This one is from the actual line from the Vulture Wave. I also have the Captain America one with the shield, but since that's a different type of costume, since they did an early sculpt, these are more in line with what you're actually getting with this new Spidey. On the MJ end, we got the classic comic book Mary Jane, and then we have the new MCU. But let's go ahead and see if the Tom Holland head fits on this, and it looks like it does, and there you go. It fits rather nicely. I still love that head portrait the best, the one with the eye. I did have to fix that though. I had to add a little bit more black. And in case you were wondering, yes, this head actually does fit on the body as well. And the paint actually matches up pretty great. This one is more of a lighter Spider-Man coloring. This is more of a darker Spider-Man coloring. And then this is more of a lighter Spider-Man. So you kind of get almost three different variances of color with these Spider-Man. As far as the Mary Janes go, I mean, the obvious differences is that this is Zendaya and this is Mary Jane. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Just, I'm complaining. I feel like I'm complaining too much. We got a new figure. Just, I really wish it was the shocker, but doesn't detract from the fact this is a awesome Spider-Man figure. I really dig it. Just some extra webbing, some kind of effects would have been nice. How about the headphones? Yada, yada. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Let's talk all things Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, make a good decision on whether you want to get this two-pack or not. I'm honestly going to recommend it in terms of maybe wait till clearance unless you're a hardcore Spider-Man fan. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.